My name is Gilson Killauer. I teach design and fabrication at the Sullivan Center at Iolani. Design and fabrication is a class in which students first experience designing in three dimensions on the computer with computer-aided design programs. And then we explore different fabrication techniques using 3D printers, the water jet, laser cutter, all of which they can use to bring their projects to life. So one of the magical things about the Sullivan Center is that, that there are really talented people with very diverse skills. Yvonne had a problem that presented itself in her wet lab class. One of her students was studying mosquito larvae and she was using a dissecting microscope to view the, the larvae and see what they were doing. Um, and she wanted to take pictures of them, but by the time she got her iPad up onto the top of the microscope and all set up and everything, the mosquito larvae had swum away and she couldn't get the picture. So Yvonne was saying, well, if she thought she had seen some adapter kind of things online and could we do something like that? And I'm like, this sounds right up our alley. We're, for design and fabrication, in a perfect world, we'd have real problems for real people and we'd have to interface with those people and, and try and solve those set of central problems. So we just arranged for the two classes to meet and I briefed my students and said, okay, here's, here's our client. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna meet with them. They have a problem, we wanna solve their problem for them, help them get to a solution. And that's just what we did. So when we have a design, you usually have to do it in CAD. CAD is computer-aided design. And we use this program called Onshape. And then the program tell the 3D printer where to put what. And the 3D printer has this extruder, which heats up the plastic. And then it creates layers to build it upwards. Our first design actually looks pretty similar to this one. And we went through about six prototypes that we printed and one of our feedback was it was taking a really long time to print. So we cut out these hexagons. Also we figured out that we cannot print the cylinder and the holder in one piece. So we had to screw it on and make screw holes and all of that so it works. My idea was using magnets because it's easily detachable and attachable. So what I have is an iPhone case with magnets embedded into the case and then there's a piece that goes onto the microscope with magnets on it so you could just snap the case on and off. Yeah, using the iPad and phone adapters made the process much easier for us, especially because we were having a lot of difficulties in focusing the microscopes while holding the device. And the adapters allowed us to carry on with our work without having to physically hold our phones or our iPads, which made the process much more effective and easier to do. The best problems for me in design and fab are ones that I don't have a really solid set of ideas about how it's going to turn out. Because I found that, that you have to find problems that you don't know the answer to. And that gives the kids complete freedom to solve the, the problem on their own. So it's, it kind of looks like I'm not doing anything when I'm teaching. And in the best classes, I mean, I could just sit there the whole time and, you know, and just be watching them solving the problem, which is what ultimately what we really want to have them do. We, when we send them off to, you know, to the world, we want them to be able to find the problem, identify it, figure out how to solve it, and move on without somebody telling them what the answer is. And so it's really valuable and really applicable to the way they're going to end up you know, functioning in the real world. I think it's pretty cool that um, we get to make something for someone, so there's a purpose in making it. And I think that that actually makes us more creative. And I think it's important to know that we have different strengths whether that be making things in the fab lab or researching in the lab up there. It's really cool that we can work together with our different strengths to make something as one team.